Hey everybody, it is week two of the 2023 college football season and we are playing Michigan and Michigan is getting their first home game of the year. Having gone to Alabama and beat them pretty badly, uh, now Michigan is taking on the Florida State Seminoles at home. So we will see how this goes. Looks like Michigan defense is going to hold the Florida State offense to only three points in the first drive. And Michigan is receiving the ball and is going to take it back to the 20-something yard line. It looks like 22-yard line. I wish we could get, depending on what direction we're going, which way the numbers count. All right. And it's going to be a short throw by McCarthy to Frederick Moore, the wide receiver, who gets around the edge of the defense and is running down the field. He's going down the sideline, missed tackle, and he is down to the 30-yard line before getting tackled. And Michigan is already on the Florida State side of the field. It's going to be another throw by J.J. McCarthy to the middle between two defenders and is caught by Clemens for a first down. All right, it's a handoff to Blake Corum, who gets four yards. And Michigan is in the red zone. Michigan's going to go around the edge of the defense. He'll break several tackles, and Blake Corum gets a 14-yard gain and a first down. Michigan is at the two-yard line, and they are ready to score. Michigan is running it in. Oh, it gets, ta gets tackled just short of the goal line. Inches away now, second and goal. Michigan's going to try to run around the edge, and Blake Corum gets it into the end zone. Touchdown, the Michigan Wolverines. Michigan is going for the extra point, and it is good. So the score is 7-3 Michigan, and Florida State now has the ball and yet has to punt the ball. So Michigan has it again. And is caught by Blake Corum. Throw over the middle, and he gets it all the way down to the 23-yard line of the Florida State side of the field. It's going to be another pass by J.J. McCarthy to Frederick Moore. And Frederick Moore gets it to the five-yard line. It is first and goal for Michigan. And it's a handoff to Blake Corum, who gets through the defense to the one-yard line. Second and goal. Another handoff to Blake Corum. And touchdown, Blake Corum, after a one-yard uh, run. And Michigan is going to go for the extra point. And it's good. Michigan now with a, an 11-point lead. Florida State has it, and they are moving down the field on the defense, and they are going to score with a running play. They go for two, and they get it, making it only a three-point game right now. Only a field goal difference. And Michigan will take the touchback. Looks like it's going to be a run with Blake Corum, and he gets through the defense and is running away from the defense. And after a missed tackle, gets gets tackled after a 19-yard gain at the 45-yard line. Looks like a run option pass. And McCarthy has the ball, and he is going to do a short pass over the middle, a dangerous throw. Gets to Frederick Moore, who runs around the defense, and gets tackled after 15 yards. And another first, uh, yeah, another first down. And we are already in Florida State territory after just a few plays. Another pass to the middle, and that is caught by Klein for a nine-yard gain, just short of the first down. And another handoff to Blake Corum, who breaks a tackle. He's good at that. 12-yard gain, and Michigan is almost in the red zone, just a yard away. And here comes a long pass to... Who is it? It's Corum. Corum gets the long pass for a touchdown, making the score 20 to 11. And we'll take the kick right here. And it is good. 21 to 11. That's the score. A 10 point lead going into the second half. Florida State is kicking the ball off. And here we go. Is return all the way back to almost the 25 yard line. Looks like the 24 yard line. All right. Looks like JJ McCarthy's going for another pass here, and it's going to be a short pass to Moore, who again gets around the defense and almost gets away, but gets tackled after a first down and quite a few yards there. It was a very good play. 
Another throw to Moore. He seems to be catching it quite a bit today. And wow, makes a bunch of people miss, but accidentally steps out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Going to be another pass, and it looks like it's again to Moore. Seems to be McCarthy's favorite target. It makes several people miss, and it's going to be a touchdown for Michigan. 27-11. With the extra point, it will be 28-11. And it's good. So 28-11, that's the score. We are in the third quarter right now. Florida State has got to do better, and they fumble the ball. This is the worst thing that could have happened for, for, for Florida State. And it looks like Blake Horm has all day to throw and still misses the throw somehow. And uh, when I say, uh, did I say Blake Horm? He's the running back, not the quarterback. I meant McCarthy. <laughs> I'm not a personally a Michigan fan, so I might mess up the names sometimes. Here we go. That's a nice throw to tight end Klein, and he gets a 33 yard gain. We are at the three yard line right now. I'm going to do a short throw over here. To, oh, Klein gets tackled before he can really make any progress. I think it was a one-yard gain with that play. Dangerous throw, but it gets to Blake Corum for another touchdown. 34-11. to 11. Can I make the extra point? That is the big question. I made quite a few in a row, but uh, I'm bound to start missing them at some point. I generally go through these streaks where I'll get like 10 in a row, and then I'll miss 10 in a row. Looks like Florida State threw an interception, so Michigan has it at the 15 yard line and in one play it's a touchdown so we're gonna bring the score up to 41 already time to go for another kick and see if i can get another one perfect 42 to 11 that is the score right now can florida state score again that's the question and they do so 42 to 18 doesn't really matter though there's not really enough time for them to come back at this point I know I said I was going to do uh, I was going to try to run a lot this season. I've already failed to do that. <gasps> Could this finally be my kick return touchdown? No, <laughs> that was still good. Forty-five yards. That was a kick return, right? Or was that a regular play? That may have been a regular play. I kind of got distracted. I really want a kick return touchdown really badly. Oh, wait a minute. I'm supposed to be running. I was just saying how uh, I need to do more running play since I'm playing as Michigan. That's what they do a lot. But it's kind of hard when I'm so used to throwing. I have to break the habit of throwing almost every play. But uh, it's another touchdown right there by throwing. It was Frederick Moore, I think, with the touchdown. And here we go. And the extra point is good. 49-18. to 18. So my next play will be a running play, I promise. Okay, so we have the ball back because Florida State had a punt. Again, that's not really surprising at this point because they have not been very good in this game. So Blake Corum is going to get a lot of practice now. Let's see if I can get a first down. Okay, and probably not every time, but a lot of the time. I'm probably going to end up running out of time before I get another touchdown, but it doesn't really matter because we're so far ahead. There we go. It's possible we could score again even with running every play. Eh. Might try a throw at the very end if I need to. At least I got pushed out of bounds there, so that stopped the clock. By the way, in college football this year, the uh, rules have changed to where getting a first down no longer stops the clock temporarily. Now the clock just keeps running, which... I think is a terrible uh, rule change. I, I like that it stopped a little bit, but the idea is it's supposed to speed up the uh, game a little bit. Personally, I don't like it. I, I kind of like things the way they were. Don't like this play very much. Oh, I did not like that play call. That's okay. We still won 49 to 18. And uh, that's pretty good for two games in a row. We blew out our opponents. I did not name the offensive and defensive coordinators. Um, so I don't usually do that. I actually don't know who they are from Michigan. But uh, next week we were playing Auburn. So that's an interesting matchup. So you won't want to miss that in week three. Thank you for watching and I'll see you then.